Que es la guía, mi gente. I'm Dimelo Argenis, and today we're going to be talking about Puerto Rican slang. So I like to think that I know a little bit about the culture. My speech is pattern. My speech in Spanish is actually modeled after the Puerto Rican speech. So I like to think I know a thing or two about the, the culture, the language, the, the food, the slang, whatever you want to say about. But I'm not Puerto Rican myself. I just speak Puerto Rican Spanish. And I like to think I do it quite well. So, um, today I'm not going to talk about like general Puerto Rican slang because I watched a lot of slang videos on YouTube and they just pretty much cover like the basics, like the basic basics. So I'm going to try to go like deeper, not really deeper, but like do words that haven't been covered yet so that you're not getting like the same video that's already been made 10,000 times already. Um, so with that being said, we're going to jump right into it. If there's any Puerto Ricans out there who are watching this video and I say something that's incorrect or you want to add on to it, just comment down below. Let me know. Word number one, or term number one, I guess, is algarete. So algarete can be like, it can be something good or it can be something bad, but it's like a lo loco, like something's crazy. So in a good sense, you could be like, that party last night was crazy, like good crazy, like Diablo mano, ese, ese party anoche estuvo al garete, cabrón. Or it can be something bad. For example, la situación mundial ahora mismo, cabrón, está al garete. Nosotros no podemos hacer nada. So, a little side note, you can also say al garo, and it means the same exact thing. Al garete, al garo, pretty much the same thing. Well, number two is chavos. Now, I can't tell you how many times I said the word chavos, and people think I'm talking about kids. No, in Puerto Rico, chavos are not kids. It's nothing related chavos is money dinero just that so an example would be like um estoy bien preocupado porque en este momento no tengo chavos y no puedo pagar los billes all right so chavos is pretty straightforward i mean there's nothing really much to it just dinero instead of saying dinero say chavos just as simple as that third word is mami so you could either say like que mami or eso mami it basically just means like something easy. Like for example, if somebody asked me, yo, what you think about that last chemistry test? And I pass her like flying colors, like a 100, A plus, whatever. I could be like, yo, I told her, so far, mommy. Okay, mommy. All right, next word is acigalao. Acigalao is basically like something that's like super clean, super neat. So you could either be talking about like an object. You could be talking about yourself. Like if you, if you like dressed up, if you like really show it out. Like, say somebody shows up to the club and it's like they show up all fancy or not, then they're asicalao. Or if you clean your car, then it's asicalao, for example. Oye, chico, pero si el limpiador carro bien cabrón, lo hace asicalao. And because the word is an adjective, you can use it for a feminine object too. Say a woman, a house, whatever. So you can say, like, nena, pero tu si estás asicalao. Alright, so the next word is gato or gata. All right, so this is not a cat. It can be, but at the same time, it can also be someone who looks good. So let's say like I see a girl walk into the club and I think she looks good. Yeah, está you know? So I could like tap my partner and be like, yo, chequeate esa gata que está entrando ahora mismo. Está si está buena, no? Está si cara. And all that means is that she looks good. It's not offensive or anything, so you don't have to worry about none of that. All right, and the last word or phrase is Ifo, and it's usually followed up with que peste. That just means that it stinks. So when you see something that is abombao, which is a bonus word for you, abombao means like something stinky. So if you come up with something, come across something that's abombao, you can say Ifo, que peste, and you're just saying like, that stinks. So with all those being said, those are your five, really six Puerto Rican slangs for this video. If you like the video, like it, subscribe, comment what you want to see. If you want to see more Puerto Rican slang, go ahead and let me know in the comments. If you want me to go over more basic terms like the ones that are in other videos, let me know. Um, if you want me to go over the accent, because I know it can be a little bit difficult to understand at first. So if you want to see one of those, let me know and I can make a video in depth explaining how Puerto Ricans talk just to get you a better understanding and so that you can better understand Puerto Ricans when they're speaking not so neutral. So with that being said, peace. Chegamos.